CPSMA started working with IMS in 2020 when face-to-face -face training was suspended at the beginning of the pandemic. And the first major event that IMS hosted for CPSMA was their AGM of that year in June 2020. And IMS also hosted their AGM in 2021. I think we need to maybe to put it in the context of our organization. So CPSMA is an association of boards of management of primary Catholic schools. We have over 2,800 schools. And in terms of the number of people on boards of management, you're talking about numbers in excess of 20,000 people. So that's our target audience for, for training. Now, traditionally this training would have been delivered locally and nationally face to face. So virtual events really became our only means of reaching this target audience during the pandemic. Now, it was a challenge for everybody, to be honest. Um, from our point of view, it was a challenge in terms of adapting our content for online delivery, uh, as well as trying to engage with our membership who were also experiencing similar uh, challenges. But I think it's become the primary mode of uh, delivery for us for the past two years. And like everything else, it has become part of the, the new world. I think that the communication with our members has benefited considerably because of the immediate nature of virtual training. So as well as delivering the nationally agreed modules of training, for example, child protection or school finances, we're in a position to respond to the evolving needs of our members by hosting webinars that address pressing issues. For example, the return to school following the extended period of school closure. So I think in the first instance, we can rely completely on the expertise of the IMS team to ensure that the technical element of webinar delivery would be managed efficiently and effectively. Now, the team hosts rehearsals to ensure that everyone involved is briefed on the running order and any technical elements that they need to be aware of. But more importantly, the IMS team are extremely professional to deal with and make every effort to ensure that both, both the host and the panellists are completely at ease. <music> I think that the rebroadcasting of key topics, as well as the hosting of recordings on our website, keeps the content accessible to our members and provides opportunities for training or accessing information in their own time. So for us, it's just a case of reminding our members of that bank of tra training webinars and training material that has been built up over the past two years. <music>